Hi, I'm Erin. I'm Yana. And uh, welcome to our first mukbang together. Basically, we, I mean, during this quarantine, we can't obviously have breakfast or lunch together um, in person. So we decided to do this, you know, have a Zoom mukbang, record a Zoom mukbang together. And um, yeah, I mean, so today we're going to be eating ramen. <laughs> This is my ramen that I chose. And it says mild, but it's not mild. It's <laughs> not mild at all. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna like pour the soup in here. Oh, yours looks so good. It's really good. Shin Lamian is like the best. Um, for those of you <laughs> it's my favorite. It's really spicy though, but um i really like it so <laughs> this is what mine looks like oh sick <laughs> wait can i see yours nice i wish i had a clear bowl clear bowl so you could see it yeah so yeah i added a little extra water because it's so spicy <laughs> <laughs> mm, okay i haven't had ramen in a while so have you been yana it's been a while since i've seen you yeah. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen you. Mm -hmm. um, I'm good. I've been doing a lot of work, actually. And um, this is a very strange and surreal time, I think, obviously for everybody. But I think that for myself, it's a really great time to create mm -hmm. and self-care and do self-care and really focus on uh, like starting new routines and starting new projects. So it's actually been a pretty good, it's pretty good for me because luckily like all my friends and family are, are okay. We're all, yeah. we're all healthy. So thank yeah. God. Let's That's good here. Um, wait, so what have you been working on while in quarantine? I see that you've been going up to the roof and like, you know, you have your <laughs> roof Yeah, roof. I found out that I have roof access, which is, which is really like a mm -hmm. godsend really and it's it, it it helps a lot in new york because you don't really have a lot of space for yourself it's like a little bit of extra mm -hmm. space so yeah i've been going up there with my roommate my, my roommate's a model which is right, yeah. which is really convenient in this time because like your muse <laughs> my muse yeah basically so we've yeah. been i've just been shooting her a lot i shoot a lot of polaroids because it's instant um, and I, I prefer analog to digital in, in general. Mm -hmm. Um, but I've also started a self-portrait project. Oh, wow. That I shoot on my iPhone. <laughs> Wait, so for like those of you who don't know about your work yet, um, can you like talk a little bit about some of like your more recent, because like, you, you had a recent show in Paris with ballerinas and I don't know, just like, just in like, you know, I want to kind of like maybe talk yeah. more yeah no here's yeah sure so some background is I've been shooting my my latest project or one of my most recent projects is on ballerinas in Shibari and to me the combination seemed like the marriage seemed very appropriate and just makes a lot of sense to me. I used to be a, a dancer and I always thought that like, wow, mm -hmm. I feel like, first of all, there's a lot of binding. That's number one. Like you basically have to bind your toes and there's a lot of, um, it's a lot of like uh, control, uh, self-control and restraint mm -hmm. that you have to go through as a dancer, I feel like. So I, the, it just seems like a really right combination to me. So I put it together and I have, I, I've been doing some really great work on a uh, Shibari with, with ballet dancers. And a lot of them are, a lot of dancers like totally get it. They're like, oh my God, yes. And I love it. You know what I mean? Um, so that's been working out really well. And so, yeah, I, I had uh, a zine release at Off Print Paris. So that, that was pretty neat. Um, and then before that, I did a project on, um, in Hawaii on a like combined, like basically women 
in birthing pools, as they would call them, which were like uh, these watering holes surrounded by ocean, but they were usually fresh water. And they called them either birthing pools or queen's baths. And I basically did that for like a few years and that was really great. Mm -hmm. So did you, you went to Hawaii and, and, and yeah, I did a whole project in Hawaii. Like I did it over two years. Mm -hmm. wow. Okay. And so can you tell me a little bit more about your, um, like a self port? Cause I, I see that a lot of your previous projects, it's like focused on, um, your friends or muses or like people that you know, um, and like, just like, like they're, they're different people. So now like you're kind of focusing it back on yourself. Can you talk a little bit more about that? And funny because it's the first time that I actually did a self portrait project. And I think it's mostly because we're in quarantine and like, we really get to know ourselves. Yeah. And we really have to focus on ourselves now. Mm -hmm. So I've been focusing on myself, <laughs> you know? And so that project I've been doing with, Actually, no, Polaroid 35 millimeter, but a lot of it was just with my iPhone because actually the iPhone 11, this like the, the newer one with the three mm -hmm. um, lenses is like really insane. I mean, the prints can go up to 20 by 24, mm -hmm. which is crazy. You know, so if I'm going to do, if I'm going to go the digital route, I might as well do it that way. Yeah. Are you like, um, are you just like kind of like, playing with different um, identities, like kind of like different um, facets of yourself or like? Um, I, th I guess so. I think it's like, I shoot, I get into it like different moods. So they're all slightly different, but they are all very like kind of sexy and sensual. Okay, got and it. And I think that because with my work, even all my previous work has been like that. And I think that that's just a regular, like a typical, like a mind frame that I have maybe. So it comes out like that. Um, but also we do some like, I, you know, when I'm shooting Vaughn, it's more playful. Yeah. We do like more play, playful stuff or like. And Vaughn is your roommate, right? Yeah, Vaughn is my roommate. Mm -hmm. And she's also, she's like actually a huge model. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like opens yeah. up Marc Jacobs and clothes Marc yeah. Jacobs. I think she opens up Anna Sui as well. So it was just really like, by chance yeah. that we met and became roommates a few years ago off of like Facebook. You oh, know, you guys of met on Facebook and then. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And so then, and like, it's just meant to be because this, I can't think of a better way to spend my quarantine than like actually creating new work and choose my muse. And then, you know, and then I started shooting a new project on myself and I, I started a Patreon. Oh yeah, that's, so smart <laughs> kind of like highlighting that project just being like i have this new project because you know what to be honest like it's hard for artists although i have been selling work luckily like and like thank god like a lot of collectors have been like i think people are in a place where they want to look at new things on their walls because they're stuck at home all the time and they're like i want this art you know yeah. so It's spicy. <laughs> you know, I added the water, it made it a little bit better. <laughs> Are you like a little bit flushed? I'm a little flushed, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can tell a little bit. But it looks yep. cute. It looks cute. <laughs> um, that's so smart that you're doing Patreon. I mean, like, you know, right now in quarantine and like, you know, artists not being able to show work physically and like people being able to like go to galleries and museums, um, there's, you know, there should be a way to still i mean i love that patreon gives artists like another um you know artists and collectors to like support and support. yeah it's just another platform and i wasn't doing it before i probably you know what my gallerist in paris gave me the idea to start it and mm -hmm. i was like mm, too much work for you know i don't know and i i don't know how my work is going to be valued like this like you know but then i was like this is perfect actually for this time mm -hmm. for like uh quarantine like this is great because everything is online and it's a way to showcase new work yeah you know it's just you know I'm doing I don't know what the project what like it's gonna turn into right now it's been like a lot of like sensual photos of like 
some nudes, some, some erotica. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think that because my, I do enjoy like funny things. So I think that I will probably camp, like make it campy o over time, okay. but, you know, because yeah. it's just, I think where, like where it's going to go, but I I'm excited to have this new platform really to like share work. Yeah. And new work. It's new. It's stuff that nobody, like I do it specifically for that channel and it helps me create more. It makes me want to like do more. Mm -hmm. So it's cool. I really, I'm really into it. Yeah. I'll definitely tell like my, um, artist friends and like people to like check it out. I feel like it's, it's such a great tool right now. Yeah. No, it really is. Yeah. I think it's good though. Yeah. You know, what else have you been, um, so you've been working on your art and like taking photographs, um, d like doing this new self-portrait series and then like working with Vaughn. Um, what other, like what, I mean, what else have you been up to? It's been, yeah. I know it's crazy, right? So sometimes I go to the grocery store like once a week. Mm -hmm. Um, sometimes twice a week if I have to get some extra stuff. So there's been trips to the grocery store. Mm. Also I take walks. Yeah. You know, I can't, I can't stay in like all the time. Like I don't think it's healthy and yeah. I don't, you know, I just don't subscribe to that. So I go out with masks, yeah. with a mask and then, and then I just take like small walks or yesterday we walked to the East village. What's weird about this whole thing is like, nobody knows like if they're a carrier or not. That's what like freaks me out the most, I guess. Um, because, like I said, luckily nobody that I know is 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 sick. But that doesn't mean that they aren't carriers. Yeah, there's like so much like there's not enough information. I mean, there's like so much information. Like I'm there's so much media frenzy, and like every time I open my phone, there's like 30 news notifications about it. But there's no there's not enough like concrete information about you know like people are now saying like um young like in, in the beginning people are saying like oh um you don't need masks and now like the now like you know us is like get, like make it you know rec um i do i need to wear masks you, know what it is? you have to do research on your own you know what i mean yeah. i started wearing the masks as soon as it like as soon as i heard about it i was like oh okay because you you have to think okay this isn't the first time that there's been a sars outbreak in 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 the world, you know? So basically, I remember when it was happening in Asia, everybody was wearing masks. Yeah. And I was like, okay, so like, that's how you do it. And right. my mom also worked in, my mom worked at a, at a doctor's office. So she kind of had a little bit of more like inside information. She doesn't work there anymore. Yeah. Um, and you really have to do your own research. I never really, so I, I do trust the government but I also feel like you have to do your own research on top of it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, speaking of masks and also you have um, a photographic series of bondage. Are you going to do any of like, are you going to do anything related to that or just out of curiosity? <laughs> because <laughs> because like mask, it's like, depending on how you do it, it could, it could be a form of um expression in a way i've seen people like decorate their masks and things like that too yeah, you know what i i think that i did I, my, my friend gave me a decorative mask i can maybe um kind of incorporate it but i don't i don't know how to make stuff so i'm probably gonna more like i did order some 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 bar some shibari roll so uh -huh. maybe i'll do something like with shibari mm -hmm. But I don't know how to incorporate that. I guess you could wear masks. I have masks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I can maybe incorporate. I mean, a lot of the images that I've been taking of my muse on the streets were in masks with like iconic, mm -hmm. was like New York I, iconic, like, yeah, lo locations. Like we went to Washington Square Park. We went to, um, yeah. uh, like by the Empire State Building in Madison Park. So there's a lot of stuff. She's in masks and all of that. So there's like medical masks <laughs> to answer that question. I was thinking about drawing, drawing on some though. You should. I was, I was thinking. I think that sounds really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what have you been up to? How's 
art, art dealer life. <laughs> I've just been like working a lot. So I met, you know, as you know, like I started Amana about six months, Amana Contemporary about six months ago. Um, we're, yeah, it's, I mean, it's been busy. It's been, it's been good. I'm very, you know, um, grateful that like things are, things haven't changed too drastically in my life other than having to work from home. So I have no complaints. I've been reading a lot and watching a ton of movies. Um, How's Twin Peaks going? Is it done? Are you done with Twin Peaks? Yeah, I'm done with Twin Peaks. That was, that was, man, that was really <laughs> scary. I like, I'm such a wuss, like I, but um, yeah, but I, I finished it or I finished up to the, you know, season two and um, yeah, it was, it was good. I, I couldn't sleep for a week. I kept thinking, I kept like having Bob's image in my head. Um, but I've been, yeah, I've been, you know, I was trying to, I was trying to order Wild at Heart, um, another David Lynch movie, but. That's my all time favorite, actually. Yeah, that's Mark's all time favorite too. And so I've been wanting to like, anyway, I, I've been trying to like find it, but it's not available for rent anywhere. Like not like on, you, um, on Prime or Google. Like, like, you should go on YouTube. I bet you you'll find it on YouTube. I'm pretty sure I looked on YouTube as well, but I couldn't find it. So I might like have to like do either like actually just buy the DVD. Wait, I don't even have a DVD player. What am I talking about? But like, um, I can like, yeah, I'll probably have to like go on like Voodoo or, or like just like search on like alternative channels. So. No, I mean, I know that it's possible. Sometimes they play, I think they had it on like Netflix or something like a while ago. Mm -hmm but they might not anymore i don't know why is a why is that movie your all-time lynch like all-time favorite i it's a love story i like love stories <laughs> Me too. Well, oh my god yesterday um mark and i went for a walk in the park and we were talking about like um we were just talking about like all the famous like literary cultural and art romances like i don't know we, were, we like mentioned like Lots. You guys I, have really interesting conversations. You know, it was really silly. It, it, it doesn't sound at, it's, it was like kind of like, we were just kind of like, you know, we like talked about like celebrities as well, like uh, Richard Burton, Elizabeth Taylor, um, Bonnie and Clyde, like, you know, Adam and Eve. <laughs> yeah. Catherine and Heathcliff. I mean, that's a really, that's a high, that's more of a highbrow one, but. Yeah, it was, I think the, I think it was like a mix of highbrow, lowbrow couples. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, so, but it's a beautiful love story, and the way that it's shot, I mean, m all of Lynch's films, like, you're just not going to see that anymore, you know? It's like, you're not going to see movies that are so experimental, like, ever. Like, I don't think, maybe now you will. Maybe now people aren't going to have that much money, actually, after the Rona, and they're going to have to get, like, really creative. So, we'll see, but... You know, there's a lot of old, like, 90s films that really, like, defined that type of, like, experimental genre. Because big Hollywood films, like, uh, film studios allowed you to be more creative. Yeah. And so I love that part. And it was just, like, a different language. Like, he really transports you into a different world completely. Stylistically. Um, and the tone this like how people communicate in his films all of it is like a different world and i love that i love to be transported yeah somewhere else when i watch movies me too so um, I, you have to see it it's a favorite yeah. you know what other movie is really funny it's very lowbrow vampire's kiss oh yeah i need to i i love it <laughs> it's so funny it is so funny Nicholas Cage at his absolute best. Like I'm not gonna lie, the best <laughs> I've ever seen. His was pretty funny performances. Hysterical. He was um I saw Face Off with Nicholas Cage recently. Mm. Have you seen that? It's like him and John Travolta. Yeah, it was a long time. It was fucking weird, no. <laughs> so so weird. What a bizarre <laughs> like script like really you're gonna get a surgery to change how you look like that's so crazy yeah so basically like um like john travolta and and nicholas cage yeah they like switch their faces and then <laughs> and, like for the first like 20 minutes you see john travolta playing like you know a boring cop mm -hmm. and then and then the, the rest of the movie is like 
John Travolta playing Nicolas Cage playing John Travolta. It's so crazy. Yeah. It's so crazy. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, we saw that. And then what else? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, so I, I never was like a huge, huge fan of Nicolas Cage only because like I saw like, there was just like one stupid movie with him in it. Um, it was about like guns or I don't know, the gun trade. I forget the Lord of War and I didn't really like it, but I've been like, I, I, it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm understanding the, why he was such a it's big all about old Nicolas Cage. And you know what? Moonstruck. He was great in Moonstruck. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So it's like, it really, it's all, it's all about old Nicolas Cage. Got it. Got it. Before like, he like sold out. <laughs> I don't know. Like he was always, listen, he's, I think a Coppola. So I don't think there's ever been like a time that, but he was like, I'm going to be really alternative like in the 80s and the 90s like I'm just yeah. gonna go the completely opposite direction yeah I'm super dramatic like and yeah. I don't know it worked I think Elvis he like dressed like Elvis I think for a while he like thought he was like Elvis which was like funny and I don't know if that was before Wild at Heart or after I'm not sure the the time frame I'm giving I mean, yeah he's very I mean he's He's very uh, over the top sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Raising Arizona, I saw with him as well um, very recently. I think I saw that a long time ago. Yeah, it's like, it's like him, him and his wife decide to steal a baby. Yeah, and they loved it because they like couldn't have kids or something. I guess, I do remember this. You know? I when I was little, when I was little, and I'm sure everybody has, has said that, like, yeah, I wish I was kidnapped because you guys make me sick. You know what I mean? When you're like little and you're like, I don't want to listen to you. Yeah, I wish I had another family. I wish I was kidnapped. I, if I was kidnapped, I wish it was that. You know, yeah. like kids probably thought like it was that. It wasn't yeah. like a dark. And my mom's like, you have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> You don't know. You think people are going to be nice? You have no idea. Be quiet. Yeah. Oh, so funny. Um, how, how's your ramen? I'm, I'm almost done. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to slurp it. Yeah. Ooh, let's drop my chopstick. <laughs> okay. I still have like a little. Oh, cute. I'm gonna do it too, but I need to finish these noodles. All right, yeah, I've been eating a lot faster than you, I think, but take your time. <laughs> I'm a very slow, I'm slow at eating. I'm just slow, just slow. Yeah. Oh. What, which brand is that again? Mm. I don't know what it says. Because it's Korean. I can't see it either, but I'll I'll take a screenshot later. <laughs> my screen That's is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I can't my yeah, I can't I'll send it to you. Yeah, send it to me. <laughs> I got it at H Mart and actually I was telling my roommate I wanna go back there. I wanna go back to H Mart. Have you, Wait, where did you go to, which H Mart did you go to? I'm in, like in Koreatown. Oh yeah, I I love that one. I mean, it's like really crowded sometimes. Like pre pre COVID, it was really crowded, um, but it has a lot of good stuff. Mark is obsessed with that place too. But like, there's so many. They have like those like prepared foods. Yes. Like, like, Munchan was which is like well, yeah. They probably don't have that now. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But I, I want to go back. I missed that you know, place. I was talking to my friend in China, and that's where I get a lot of my information from as well mm -hmm. um and she was she was saying that so when you go shopping now in certain parts they or i think they they did it before they had it in the front of the of the grocery store and they give give it to you instead of you going in oh yeah it's an interesting i i don't know it's a gonna be it's really gonna be interesting to see like what opens up first and how they're gonna go about it yeah I mean, I don't, I think we're a long ways away from stadium concerts and things like that. But I think, you know, I think that I don't even like crowds. Yeah, I don't like crowds either. Um, but I do really miss like going to see, like going to museums and seeing like beautiful. I feel like they're going to make us wear masks when we go I in. 
Yeah. I think that it, it's going to also, it's going to be masks and it's going to be a lot less people at once. So there's probably going to be a lot of lines outside yeah, basically to go in. But I don't know about museums. I feel like museums and galleries, like it's going to be hard to control the crowd. Yeah, especially with galleries, honestly. Because um, you can just walk in, so. I think though that with masks, if both, okay, so if it's by law, you have to wear masks. Yeah. I think it's gonna keep the infection rate down so low. Yeah, like wearing, if like two people are wearing masks and one of them has coronavirus, um, your chance of contracting it is like, I don't know, I saw like it was like 1%. Like point one percent or something. It, yeah. It and so I think that's gonna basically be the, be the law. And you're probably gonna have to be a little bit distant. You know what I miss the most? It's like going to my friends' houses. Mm. Yeah, I miss my friends so fucking much. Like, that's just, the big thing. Yeah. And it's like, to be honest, like screens are cool. Like they're saving us. Like imagine during like plague times and they didn't even have yeah. like Spanish flu. They didn't have this. No, they were and, was, and they were also I, isolating. Like that's the thing is like, it's normal. It's part of plague behavior. Like that's what you do is you just yeah. kind of isolate. So that's why all these people who are like, leave me my freedom. It's like, yo, this is just what you do. Yeah. 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 Like, I mean, Ernest Hemingway would like write letters. I mean, like F. Scott Fitzgerald and like would would be like writing letters to like Hemingway and like vice versa, and then like scolding Hemingway for not like not abiding by influenza rules or whatever. So it, it's like it's it's exactly the same in a way, but then like yeah, they didn't have screens. They had to write letters and like send snippets of their stories to each other. You know, <laughs> yeah, even longer. Like it takes. Imagine how long it took then, because now it's like taking me weeks to get my orders in. Like anything. Yeah. Like my friend sent me a package. I still haven't received it. He's in Brooklyn. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like not. And it usually takes like three days. It's like yeah, over a week. But I think that a lot of great art is going to come out of this. I know that every single artist is finally like, oh, I don't have to work. Like, I could paint. Like, I don't have to go to my other stuff. Like, I think a lot of artists are really going to be able to do whatever it is they want to do to, like, grow to the next level in yeah. the project they're doing. Yeah. It's interesting. That's going to be interesting. So I'm excited to see all the art during and after quarantine. Yeah, I mean, um, like people always say like artists work best in um, isolation or like what, you know, it's a, it's a very solitary um, it work, you know, it is. but there was a lot of like the art world, there's a lot of, um, I can see why like artists can get super distracted because um, people are always saying like artists have to go out and like network and like try to meet as many gallerists and whoever as possible. Yeah. And, and then there's always like openings and art fairs and you're just and artists are always like oh I gotta go I gotta I'm gonna have FOMO I have to go see them see, you know go to these places it's good for my it's good for yeah, networking you know, and now it's just a different way now they're like got us just stay home and work and I and we're like happy about it I think. yeah <laughs> yeah I'm like legit there are times that I'm like oh I love this yeah you know really like I don't have to feel weird for not going to someone's show because I yeah would, would rather stay in and like read or like watch a film or like you know yeah. work on my images yeah you know I, I don't have to feel like obligated to do things and I could just do that that yeah. stuff so yeah. I'm into that um I just don't like it that it's like you have to you know I don't like being told what to do yeah yeah but well, I'm excited yeah. about this time and I'm also excited for this time to be over me too yeah I mean like it's uh it's definitely like there's it's definitely like art world before COVID and art world after COVID and like yeah you probably because you're working at a at a space a huge space yeah I mean it's like um I think that Mana, we're not immune to everything that's happening so we're all trying to like figure out okay like what do we need to do to help our artists feature, you know, feature artworks online? So we're all kind of like, it, I, I see like all the museums like Met, Whitney, MoMA, and all the galleries all doing something. Like they're all doing like online viewing rooms or um, virtual studio tours. And Mana is doing, you know, we're we're all looking online too. We also have to work on that, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, there's a lot of that. There's, I mean, there's a lot. I mean, a lot of it is just noise, but there's some, you know, some museums are doing really cool things. So, um, and it's also like forcing everybody to just catch up with the times because, you know, most, indi most industries have already gone online, but um, not like, but, you know, even before COVID, so I know like so many galleries that never had, like didn't have an e-commerce site or. Yeah, and you have to now. And yeah. people, it's, it's true, you, you, you know, online platforms just for the convenience of like for the collectors to purchase work yeah i think has been around for a while and you know back when i guess artsy made it really like popular yeah yeah artsy is definitely one of the things that mon is using um as that, well so. that platform yeah. yeah yeah it's good um so that's exciting um yeah I just can't wait to see you like live. <laughs> that when we were at Mana together, that was like so fun. I think was that the last time I saw you? Um, yeah, yeah, it was. I mean, it was winter, so it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't like that long ago. Long ago, but yeah, I, I remember we also had tea. That was really yeah. Cute. I think that was before, and then was Mana. Yeah, and Mana was fun. Like it's gorgeous. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna have to do another um, when when once it's safe to do so. Like, I'd love to um, have you over, and you can like check out some of the artist studios there, pri the private collections and things like that too. So yeah, no, for sure, I'll be there. Yeah, it was so good to see yeah. you. Seeing you too, Erin. Okay. Okay. Thanks. We'll we'll chat again soon. Yeah. And I can't sure. wait to see your new work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Newsletters. I'll be sending newsletters. Okay. Cool. All right. Later.